Three, two, one. Hey, welcome back to the uh, latest episode of This Guy's Thoughts. Uh, as usual, appreciate you swinging by and watching another beer review. And tonight's episode uh, features one out of uh, Urban Artifacts out of uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, Urban Artifact, uh, they produce a lot of uh, really good stuff, really good fruit beers. Um, this here, they're calling this a uh, Mangosteen Banana Midwest Fruit Tart. So, get a look at that there. This here is a 9.5% uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, the IBU, um, I'll have it on the screen here somewhere. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, um, I don't even want to guess on it. Uh, just looking at the artwork, you got like the, the fruit cart. Um, like a couple different foxes on there. Um, yeah, like a fruit stand. I mean, there's some uh, couple weird things going on on here, um, but as far as the artwork, uh, just rating that real quick up on the chart here, um, I give it about a three and a half out of five. It's it's decent enough. Um, again, this is a, a mangosteen banana Midwest fruit tart. So uh, mangosteen is a uh, I had to look it up. I had no idea what it was. Uh, it is a um, tart sweet. Um, I believe purple uh, fruit uh, native to uh, Southeast Asia, I believe. Um, so that tart sweetness with the banana should um, make uh, for um, for a pretty good flavor. Uh, on the back here, it says, or on the side, uh, real fruit is heavy. Gently turn end over end before opening and serving. The real fruit used in Urban Artifact beer has been fermented out, creating a delicious and stable beer with that will not re-ferment. This beer may be stored warm, but we recommend keeping it cool. So uh, we'll uh, give it a turn, a couple turns here. Um, it is, I did pay $3.99 uh, for the can. You can see right there. Um, I don't have a problem paying... Uh, you know, anywhere from uh, three to five bucks for something from Urban Artifacts because uh, they usually um, do not uh, disappoint. Uh, says this was canned on um, 920 of 19. So right now it's about six weeks old at the time I'm recording this uh, review here. So um, we'll go ahead and crack this open and um, see how uh, see what it's all about. Oh wow, a very um, banana. I was not expecting it to look like that. I was expecting, um, let's set this can up there. I was expecting a purple color, if I'm being honest with you. This looks like a banana smoothie, honestly. Um, no head. Uh, very little produced up on top of that anyway. Uh, there's a lot of carbonation. Although you really can't see it well in the camera there um, because it just blends in with the color. Uh, just, man, just a thick banana smoothie, thick, juicy looking uh, beer here. Wow, that's, uh, that looks pretty damn good. Uh, aroma. Not really picking up a lot of banana. Oh, there we go. Uh, banana is in there. Uh, there is a uh, tarty fruit, uh, tarty sweetness, um, like a sweet, something's giving off the aroma of a sweetness, and I'm believing it's probably the uh, mangosteen uh, fruit that's in there. Uh, the banana, um, it almost smells like, um, like banana baby food, like that type of banana. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, banana, um, tardiness. Um, th yeah, that that's pretty much all I'm picking up in the aroma here. So uh, I've been looking forward to uh, getting a drink on uh, with this. So um, won't wait any longer. Wow. 
wow. Delicious. So this was nine and a half percent alcohol. No. If you gave me this, I would guess around six, about six, maybe seven. Like I really don't taste, I taste, pick up very little alcohol in this. Banana. I'm assuming the other fruit that um, tarty fruit in there that I'm not real familiar with is the mangosteen. But this is a super juicy uh, beer here. Um, goes very well together. Not There's not a lot of banana beers um, that I've had. And the ones that I have, I really don't taste a lot of bananas. I did a banana bread um, review. I don't know if it's posted yet on the channel because I never post an order. Um, and that had a banana bread quality to it, but this, this tastes like, uh, you blended, um, blended bananas, maybe a little bit of a vanilla, and, um, this manga steen, um, fruit, threw it in a blender and blended it up, and it looks like a, like, honestly, like a, like a smoothie, like a pureed smoothie, thick juice, um, yeah, as far as scoring this thing up here, on the chart here, um, I'm good with, uh, honestly, I'm good with about a uh, about a 4.65 out of 5. This is actually very good. It is much, much more solid um, than I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be good because it's Urban Artifacts, but this, this is fantastic, so... Um, Anyhow, video's gone on a little bit longer than I like it to, and I need to save some for the uh, Instagram photos and the thumbnails. So like, subscribe, comment, check me out on uh, social media, hit that notification bell. That's my thoughts. <sighs>